Welcome to the next evolution of Community Hospital South, a major expansion project that will serve patients and families in Southern Marion and Johnson counties. Community South uh, was first built in 1983, and in that 25 year period, we've done very little to the main facility. In that time, things have changed from the perspective of the needs of the community, the needs of the patients, and just the increased technology that we have to deal with. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunity here for improvement for our patient care by adding space, by improving the context of that space. We're transforming healthcare on the south side of Indianapolis with a five-story all-private room patient tower, innovative operating suites, and convenient expanded outpatient facilities designed by patients, physicians, and nurses. It has been such a special opportunity for everybody with this expansion. Um, the nurses, the doctors, and especially the staff in terms of uh, being able to create and design their environment and where they will be as a patient for two to three days. Spacious, all private patient suites will offer a comfortable place to heal and enhance communication between patients, physicians, and families. Two years ago, it was very seldom that I would have a request for a private room or that we would hear about a request for a private room. People had pretty much accepted that hospitals had semi-private rooms and that's what the standard was in the industry. In this past two years, that has changed dramatically, especially here in the Indianapolis market, to where people have come to expect a private room. When a patient comes into the hospital, what we find is they like to have at least one family member or significant other with them to stay with them. So we've listened to a lot of our patients uh, for that design process and that privacy, the comfort, and just the healing environment. It's a new design that benefits nurses and physicians, giving them the best tools to deliver exceptional care. As we develop the improved capacity and capability in our surgical suites, uh, first and foremost what that's doing is adding larger, um, better lit, and better equipped rooms for the surgeons to operate in. So that alone will make a significant difference with regard to the capabilities of our surgical capacity. When we sit down and we take a look at our average age of the nurse, which is just like everybody else's in the country, we're about 45 to 48 bending over, walking, uh, being able to um, have something at eye level that's a lot easier for you to plug in into an electrical outlet rather than down here. And for those patients who don't require a hospital stay, community brings outpatient services closer to home for easy access to regular doctor's visits. A significant piece of the project down here at South, in addition to what's going to be happening here on campus, is that we're going to be looking at a development of an ambulatory plan uh, for the South geography. To be able to bring some of that outpatient testing and outpatient service capability closer to where the patients are living. The $130 million construction project for the next evolution of Community Hospital South is an investment in the community. With the ongoing impact into the future uh, is the economic impact of adding up to 200 positions here at Community Hospital South, many of them being professional positions such as nurses, pharmacy, uh, respiratory technicians, etc. Uh, and that economic impact will be a significant one long into the future for, for the Greenwood area. Community is also mindful of the investment it's making in the environment, incorporating green ideas as part of the building design. We'll be uh, working with uh, more sustainable products. Uh, the patient tower surgery additions will be a higher uh, energy efficiency than we normally have, as well as uh, improved indoor air quality. Basically going through the process of making more careful selection and choices of materials and finishes and chemicals we use. Construction at Community Hospital South will take approximately two years. All medical services will be available throughout this time, but patients and visitors should note that traffic will be rerouted through the facility. I'm standing in the approximate location of the information desk in the new patient tower. As you can see, construction of this tower is going to result in the closure of our main entrance and the entrance to the cath labs. During construction, we'll be utilizing the emergency department entrance and lobby behind me as the front door of the hospital. Patients and visitors may enter the hospital through the emergency department or through the medical office building entrance on the north side of campus. Both of those entries will be staffed with valet services as well as we'll have a shuttle bus running on the campus to make it easy for the patients to get from the parking lot to the front entry or to the north entry. And we are really beefing up our volunteer and staff capabilities with regard to being able to escort patients from either of those two locations as they come into the facility. 
The staff of Community Hospital South is proud to enhance the exceptional care patients have come to expect. New operating suites will be completed in late 2009, followed by the opening of the patient tower in mid-2010. To learn more about the next evolution of Community Hospital South, please visit ecommunity.com south.